Jim Thomas were African Americans. How could I be? I've never seen them. But you are aware of the connotation of the word spook. Ghost, Professor Rule, ghost. I was referring to their ectoplasmic character. Here's the uh, first definition of the word. I quote, spook, informal, ghost, spectre. But Dean Silk, let me remind you of the second definition, derogatory, negro. I'd never laid eyes on them. How could I know they were black? Hmm? All I did know was that they were invisible. Nevertheless, they have lodged a complaint. Miss Cummings was devastated. Now, the issue here... These students have never attended a single class. Do they exist, or are they spooks? Consider the context. But Dean Silk... I've not finished! The only issue is the non-attendance of these students, their inexcusable neglect of work, and their sheer chutzpah. Oh, Miss Cummings is devastated. Give me a break, will you? To charge me with racism is not only false, it is spectacularly false. And you know it! Thanks a lot, Herb. I've quit. What? I've resigned from that half-assed college. Where's that last year's phone? Wait a minute, wait a minute, no, what happened? I saw it here the other day. Well, I've been accused of a racist epithet. What racist epithet? I used the word spooks, which 50 years ago was just a slang. I know what it was slang for. Where's that phone by? And we'll sue these would-be bastards. I want that lawyer out. Wait, wait, did you remind them that when you were yeah, done, right. you, no, you hired Herb Teeble. The first black... Please, African-American, please. Okay. African-American ever on the faculty. Where's that book? Is, is it Herb on this Why committee? Why do you keep changing everything? But wait, 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 just tell yes, me. There are friends, for God's sake. Did Herb even open his mouth? Yes, yes. I'm sorry, Coleman. I can't be with you on this okay. bullshit. Fine, fine. They want to fight. I'll give them a fight that they'll never forget. This is absolute that, lunacy. Uh, uh, After lawyer. 35 yeah. years I'm... of your devotion... Now, I'm you know what we're going to do? We're going to organize. We're going to get them to sign the petition. That's okay. what we'll do. Just, no, you know what we're okay. going to do? We're going to do a two-pronged attack. We're going to attack. We're going to get lawyers, because okay. I know some... I know I saw it here the other day. It was a little bread. Coley. What? Something's wrong. I know there is. What do you mean? Coley. What's the matter? Coley. Hey, come on. I said I wasn't there. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Iris Silk died several hours later in her husband's arms. Six months after that, Coleman came into my life. I had been living alone in a small cabin by a lake not far from Athena. Including questions about my private life. Questions no American citizen would ever want to answer. Still, I must take complete responsibility for 